فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى this benefit today is going to be شروط the conditions that a person who is calling to the good and is prohibiting evil the conditions in which he has to meet this benefit inshallah ta'ala is taken from the 15th volume page 167 majmu' al-fatawa by majmu' al-fatawa by shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyah rahimahullah ibn taymiyah says wal qiyam bil wajibati min ad-da'wati al-wajibati وغيرها يحتاج إلى شروط يقام بها كما جاء في الحديث Standing up for the obligatory matters such as calling the people to the religion the obligatory calling and other than it they require conditions that a person has to meet as it has come in the hadith. So if a person wants to call the people to the religion of Allah, in other words, if he wants to prohibit the people from evil, and if he wants to enjoy good, then he has to meet these conditions. And this benefit is amazing. Ibn Taymiyyah says, number one, ينبغي لمن أمر بالمعروف ونهى عن المنكر أن يكون فقيها فيما يأمر به فقيها فيما ينهى عنه The person has to be one the one who's calling to the good and he's prohibiting the evil he has to be فقيها he has to be one who has comprehension and understanding of that which he's commanding if you're going to call the people to the good you're going to prohibit the people from the evil, then be one who understands and comprehends what he is going to command the people. Don't just say it, but have understanding. Also be faqihan fi ma yanha anhu. And also be one who has understanding of that which you're going to prohibit the people from. Don't just prohibit them for the sake of prohibiting, rather have understanding. And my beloved brothers and sisters, fiqh is more than just faham. Fiqh has a more powerful meaning than faham, understanding. Fiqh means al-fahm al-daqiq. It is when your understanding is very rooted and it's very strong. So when you want to call the people to the good, and when you want to prohibit them from the evil, be one who has good understanding, solid understanding in that which you're going to command the people. And also have solid understanding of that which you're going to prohibit the people from. That's the first condition. Condition number two. Rafiqan fi ma ya'muru bih. Be one who is tender, who is soft in that which you're going to command the people. Take this nice, simple, easy approach. Rafiqan fi ma yanha anhu. And also be one who is soft, tender in that which you prohibit the people from. But don't be a person who's harsh and hard and tough and rough. Be one who is simple and easy when you're commanding the good. And also be soft and kind when you're prohibiting the people from the evil. You see a person committing a sin. Come to them and approach them in a manner that is soft. Instead of taking an approach which is harsh and hard. Number three. The Sheikh said, Haliman fi ma ya'muru bihi. Haliman fi ma yanha anhu. 
forbearance in that which you command and to also have forbearance fima yanha anhu in that which you prohibit you have endurance of in when you're commanding the good you know what comes with it the hardship that comes with it so you can endure the pain and when you're going to command the people the evil uh, sorry when you're going to prohibit the people from the evil you know the hardship that's going to come with it so you're able to endure the pain that comes with it then ibn taymiyyah says falfiquhu qabla al-amri so now he's going to tell us, the first one was fiqh the second one was rifq and the third one was hilm that was the three the shaykh al-islam taymiyyah says falfiquhu understanding is before you command before you tell the people do this do this do this before you say that the fiqh comes before that it's prior to that لِيُعَرِّفَ الْمَعْرُوفَ وَيُنْكِرَ الْمُنْكَرَ so you can command the people the good and you can also prohibit them from the evil you have to have understanding before it وَالْرِفْقُ which is the second one and he goes وَالْرِفْقُ softness is when عِنْدَ الْأَمْرِ whilst you're commanding whilst you're telling the person to stay away from the evil and you're telling them to do, to do the good at that particular point the softness and the kindness is at that moment it is when you're doing the commanding and it is when you're doing the prohibiting why is that? لِيَسْلُكَ أَقْرَبَ الطُّرُقِ إِلَى تَحْسِيلِ الْمَقْصُودِ the reason why you're taking this soft and tender manner is so لِيَسْلُكَ أَقْرَبَ الطُّرُقِ So you can take the closest path in reaching your goal إلى تحصيل المقصود To reach your goal You take the easiest and the softest manner in approaching this matter in order to reach your goal better Some people they will come and they will take the harshest and they think that is that is how the religion is going to be what? Is going to be protected or thinking that that is the way that the evil will will rather sometimes that you you speaking about it or you prohibiting it or the manner that you've taken may sometimes it may cause a greater mafsada and the goal may not be reached naam wal hilmu hilm which is to have the forbearance is ba'd al amri after you command the third one, which is al-hilm, is after you've did the commanding, calling to the good, prohibiting the evil. Why? لِيَصْبِرَ عَلَىٰ أَذَى الْمَأْمُورِ الْمَنْهِيِّ فَإِنَّهُ كَثِيرًا مَا يَحْصُلُ لَهُ الْأَذَى بِذَلِكَ So the person, the, the last one, which is forbearance, comes after the commanding. Once you've done your job, you call to the good, and you prohibited the evil. Why? So you can be patient. لِيَصْبِرَ So you can be patient upon the harm that you face from those who you've commanded the good. And also to face the harm of those you've prohibited the evil from. فَإِنَّهُ كَثِيرًا For verily, it is a lot. It's a lot that a harm is put towards a person from the people who he commands or from the people who in which he prohibits from them a lot does that happen that you find yourself in a position where you're going through hardship pain and suffering and all you were doing was telling the people what was good for them and prohibiting them from what was evil so this benefit wallahi from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is it is amazing, it was beneficial, and I believe it is something that I wanted to share with my beloved brothers and sisters. I hope you've all benefited from it. I'll conclude there, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.